Hello! This is a bushing. Your car has quite a few of them. I'll now give you a few moments to absorb this fact. Now, bushings generally being made of rubber do wear out over time, and a lot of them are more obvious. You'll get clunking noises, you'll get weird handling, but this particular bushing usually wears in a way that isn't very obvious, but replacing it can make a huge difference in how nice your car drives. So today, I'm going to replace the absolutely roached ones on my BMW, and we'll just see how much better it gets. So now that we're all jacked up, the bushing in question is the sway bar bushing. Now what that does is it locates the sway bar. Pretty simple. And what the sway bar does is it keeps your car from rolling in corners. It doesn't really locate any of your suspension components, it just transmits force from one side to the other so that the car stays level through a turn, which can make a huge difference on how the car feels to drive. Personally, I think that sway bar upgrades or upgraded bushings are one of the best things you can do for a car because they will make it feel way tighter in corners without having much of an effect on handling. Mine are completely roached, so I'm gonna replace them for $8 and we're gonna see how much that improves the way that this car drives. And really, it couldn't be simpler. Once the car is up, you just take off the inner tray and it's right here. It looks like it's two, I'm gonna say 12s, and the bracket is off. Here, I'll show you. This uh, camera is not very uh, wide angle, so bear with me. So here we have the sway bar, and here is the bracket for the bushing. It looks like it's just two bolts and it comes out, and that comes over to the control arm. So what happens is when you go in a corner, one of these control arms tries to move separately from the other. This is made of spring steel, and it effectively connects them together and tries to get them to move the exact same way. So as a result, if you try to go into a corner, it stresses this spring steel and pulls one side of the car down as the other side compresses and the result is the car just corners a little bit flatter and of course you can get upgraded sway bars i believe the zhp is already an upgraded sway bar to an extent but i'm not completely certain um, ignore my fluid leaks it is a bmw that's just how i know it has fluid in it Though honestly, they are not all that bad. It does look like it's a front main seal or something, though. I don't think I want to do anything about that. Really quite clean under here, though, in general. So I'm going to get a wrench, and we're going to pop these off and take a look at my bushings, and I'll show you how exactly they wear. Looks like it's a, th a 13? I don't know. That fits a little bit loose, but it works. This could just literally be four bolts if, you're, uh, if your splash shield is uh, missing, like mine is. Four bolts. To breathe new life into old suspension. That's a pretty good deal if you ask me. Okay, so what we have here is the old sway bar bushing, and what these do is they just oval out over time. It's very difficult to see, but the new bushing has a much rounder hole than the old ones. If you remember when I on the episode where I painted my wheels, you could actually see daylight through the gap where the sway bar went through here. So this wasn't doing much to locate the sway bar in this axis like it's supposed to, which meant that when you go into a turn, you're wasting a decent amount of suspension travel just moving that sway bar inside the bushing. And it doesn't move violently enough to cause any clunks, so you'd never really know that anything was wrong with these. But I have some new ones that I got for like $8. There we go. So we're gonna throw these in. This is Rain, part number AVB0344R. And the way that these install, and the way that you take the old ones out, is by just splitting them like that and slipping them over the bar. Could not get any simpler. I mean, it could, but it wouldn't be feasible. All right, so I do have to do both sides at once here since I did not uh, undo either of the sway bar in links. Uh, I think that's the easier way to go personally, so let me slap this other one on real quick. Now that that's on there, I can lift 
this sway bar back into position. Get it on the studs. Luckily, these studs are nice and long so that it can suck the bracket up around the uh, bushing, which is nice. And that's it, it's literally that easy. I'm gonna go wash my hands, get this off the jack stands, and we'll go for a test drive. Let's go take this thing for a test drive and get some gas in it. I went on a road trip yesterday. I did 382 miles on this tank. This car has some legs on it. So the cool thing about the sway bar is that I should feel the effects pretty much instantly as soon as I get out on the road here. And I have figured out a few other things on this car and this thing's gonna be getting a lot of maintenance done here in the coming couple of weeks. Oh. Oh wow. The steering is just significantly tighter and more precise feeling all of a sudden. Like even at low speeds when you wouldn't think the car would be like rolling side to side. Oh my gosh. That's significant. And as you saw when I had the bushing side by side, like you couldn't even really tell that they were all that worn. So this car needs inner tie rods. I found that out just now. Uh, and also it threw a code right at the end of that road trip yesterday. Uh, and it was a code for, you know, the code itself. This is, so this is an example of like needing to be able to like think logically about car uh, problems. The code, was for a barometric pressure sensor. Now, the barometric pressure sensor is not the issue. Uh, what, the reason it was throwing that code is because it uses the barometric pressure sensor as a sort of uh, sanity check for the mass airflow sensor. And also, you know, the O2 sensors and the whole fuel air delivery system. And it came on when my fuel got low. And that is consistent with a weak fuel pump or a clogged fuel filter. I've also been having occasional issues where if the car sits for two days and I go to start it, it runs like absolute dookie. And, you know, for like a few seconds and it takes a lot of cranking. Also consistent with a weak fuel pump. I've also been getting some, uh, at high RPM, some weird occasional stutters. Consistent with a fuel delivery issue, or Vanos needing a rebuild. I thought my Vanos might need rebuilt. I'm probably going to do that soon anyway. Uh, I do get uh, the occasional rattle on cold starts, and it's pretty easy to do on these ZHPs. And of course, I'm gonna do the rattle fix. I overnighted a fuel pump and filter, so uh, check that out in an upcoming video. We're gonna do a real quick, okay, yeah, I still have that little bit of play in my steering wheel for the inner tie rods. So inner tie rods, fuel pump, fuel filter. I'm gonna order the rear trailing arm bushings and the locators and the kit to do them. And this thing is going to be sweet. This thing is gonna be so nice to drive once I do that. You know, I've still got just this little bit of play in the steering wheel that makes it not as nice to drive as it could be. The real tra rear trailing arms mean that it kind of wanders on the highway. A tram line's real bad. So once I fix that stuff, this should be a nice solid driving BMW with a quarter million miles on it. I am stoked. Oh, wow. Oh, man, those bushings make such a difference. I'm always amazed when I do that. You know, either switching from normal bushings to poly bushings, which is a thing you can do. You'll have to grease them, though, or they'll make noise. Uh, upgrading the sway bar or just repairing an issue like this. I'm always amazed at how much it affects the car, even though it's such a seemingly minor thing. Oh, these really are such sweet driving cars, especially once you get them all fixed up like this. So go take a look at your car, take a look at the front sway bar bushings and see if you can stick something through them or not. If there's space between the bar and the bushing anywhere, it's not doing its job and replacing it will, just, it's, it's such a novelty because now the car is just so much better. I just want to drive it more. It's great. I'm gonna get some gas. Thanks for watching.